is saying to which God, who is calling me in love with which person from which community, who is writing which book, which book has to be burnt. All of that trouble started there. There was one scientist who said, to hell with you. This is the government that gave me an honor, Padmakrishna, I'm returning it to the government. And he returned his, his Padmakrishna to the government of India. And it wasn't the same ruling party, but it doesn't matter, it's government of India. And by doing that, what was he trying to say? He was trying to say, this is, this is no way to run the cycle. India is known for its diversity. And diversity is its biggest strength. No country in the world has shown the kind of tolerance between all kinds of religions. We, I think we have every religion in this country that has lived so peacefully through the years. And why all of a sudden this? Why homogeneity? And as a biologist, he says that if a society has to progress, then it is di Biology shows us that evolution happens when there is diversity. But when there is homogeneity, then that causes extinction. And we have to learn from this. So in order to make this point, he put in all his, whatever he could, and he said, take this uh, award away. How many people came forward to give their awards away to make, make it known? Not from the Padma Awards, like uh, Sahitya Awards, people returning you. Anyway, the reason I'm saying is that here was a man who was a scientist, who was an administrator, great administrator, and I'll give you some examples. He was a humanist. He was a rationalist. He was an atheist. He was an institution builder. And above all, he was a man with a tremendous conscience. And social consciousness. He was aware. He was involved. He was interested in people. Usually what do we have in mind? When we talk about a scientist, we think of somebody with long hair, couldn't care less what kind of clothes he wears, working in a uh, ivory tower, doesn't ever look out of his window also, is only concerned with the science and the experiments that he's doing. That's the normal thing that you think of when you think of the scientist. But here was a person who was equally concerned about everything, whether it was science, whether